welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Luis Heal. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. Oh, and what the stands the out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled. Batting yeah. below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. The pitch. Way high. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. That's okay. way outside. And that's ball three. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Turns and fires the bets. Out to short, Volpe. Tosses to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. It features one of the sport's true superstars, Mookie Betts. You know, Boog, he really makes the most out of his skill sets, leading the team in steals and on-base oh. percentage. And, you know, you got sometimes a guy that can run really well, but he doesn't get on base enough to utilize that potential. As soon as this guy gets on first, Two he's balls. thinking about no second track. and then third. He's got the wheels to make that kind of stuff happen and really disrupt the ball game. I love watching guys like him who just yeah. make Woo. stuff happen in the lineup. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. And a pitch. Goes down looking. That is third. Two outs, base the is empty. Baseman. Here's the third baseman, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two down, nobody on. Just misses. And a count one and two. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste. Yeah. Rolls across the diamond, and Freeman is retired. And the Dodgers are set down in order. We head to the bottom of the first. No score. Back in the Bronx. Our starting pitcher in this one, it's Walker Bueller. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. There's a swing and a drive. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. And now it's Juan Soto. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That one lifted to left. Vargas under it nabs it and there's one away 
batting third. The dedicated hitter. And now big Aaron. number 99, Aaron Judge. Yeah. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. No One, strike. One out and a runner at second. Right through there for a strike. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball one. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. A foul ball, he stays alive. <laughs> Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. The throw in, not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. It's a run on the board. He picks up an RBI. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Stanton started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Oh. Off the mark there. And a count two and one. That one ripped, but foul. Two two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two two now. And that one is lifted in the air on the move. He's got it two away down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Brings it in, and that's the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. New inning getting started, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. Right through there for a strike. Next offering misses down and away. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Nope. The next All pitch three. misses, and a count three is three and one. one. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. The pitch. This to center field. Grisham settles under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. And up next that for Los pitch. Angeles, Andy Pajas. Pitch oh, misses inside. One and oh. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Right, oh. 
That one ripped. Stanton ranges back. That's a ball. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Well, he almost robbed a home run right there. And I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that. It's so close, but that one was just out of his reach. On the ground. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier that, enough. That, Got out in front a little bit, rolled base over base on it, and beat it into the ground. Kike. Here's Kike Hernandez. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's gone. He sends a rocket to left. It's their second home run of the inning. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And next for L.A., Miguel Vargas. Bounced up the middle. Torres throws the first. And that is the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. You're dialing. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Torres. On the ground to the left. On to Hernandez. And quickly one away in the second. Here's the catcher to hit, Austin Wells. First pitch misses. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. That's out to center field. Should have this one. And he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Top half of the third inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barnes. Back up the... Oh, that got him! And they get the out after the ricochet. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Bounce to the left side. In plenty of time to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now batting the designated hitter, Jason. Here's Jason Hayward. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Hayward goes six feet five inches, batting second in today's lineup. And he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel, basic, trusted his hands. Nice job Freddy of going the other way. Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Oh, one. Going one. And that, that one hit 97 on the gun. Clips the corner. And the count, one and two. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So the Dodgers leave one, but they still lead it two to one. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Bueller back to work. 
A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Grisham, first round pick of the Brewers in 2015. Just missed. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 Cal. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. is outside no he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count knows the strike zone very well so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not three two and yeah, there's ball four it wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So the batting order turns over. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Wants it for a hit. Down the line, and it's foul. Here comes the 1. Trying to punt his way on. On the run, throw to first. Yeah. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, a tremendous stop there, but it looked like he had a little trouble getting off the throw as quickly as he would have liked. Had to get something on it to beat the runner. Here's Juan Soto. Fly to left his first time. That oh. misses the zone. Ball one. And it's second. And there's a ball. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Left hand hitter waits. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Yep. Throws the first in time. They get the out on Silva. Well done behind the dish. It's Aaron Judge now. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That's ball for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the walls. Going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next One offering ball. way Three off strike. the plate. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. He deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. <laughs> One and two here, and that's outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound. 
And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Teoscar Hernandez. Heel back to work. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That misses. One and one. One and one. And a pitch. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. And up next for Los Angeles, now Andy Pajes. Just missed. One and oh. Next right, offering move. in there for a strike. One ball. Strike one. One, strike. one down, base is empty. Pajes tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up the 2 1 up the middle dives but it kicks off his glove safe at first as they can't make the play Miguel Rojas at the play grounded out his first time up lifted in the air right center field Stanton should have this one Stanton snags it Here's Kike Hernandez. He's already homered here in this one. Outside low, and it's one and oh. Pajes off of first with two away. That's to third, Cabrera. Slings to first, and that is that. So no runs. Bottom four, John Carlos Stanton at the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these Yankees, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at-bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hits, so they might want to be a little more selective up there. Anthony. Just a simple brown ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Line drive. Come on. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's Glaber Torres. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. No, that's the ball. The Dodgers leading by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. On the ground, right side. Four, six, three, double play. And the inning is over. Back in the Bronx, we go to the top of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Vargas. Out front and foul to the left side. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it skips into dirt. Caught him looking for the K. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. One down, base is empty. Outside low, and a count even one and one. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty.
clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Struck him out looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back now in the Bronx. Now here is Austin Wells. The wind of the pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's under it. Pulls it in. And there's one away. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Fought off foul. Oh. And that one cutting but missing down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better no. sense of the umpire strike zone. Two balls, two strikes. That That's misses. Full count three yeah, full. and two. <laughs> Side, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two but balls and no field strikes, field. but well. now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. And here it comes. Grounder might be two. Freeman oh. over to second, and that's two. Back at Yankee Stadium, top six. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Jason Hayden. Oh. And a swing and a miss. Oh, Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You can have a really good day out there in the mound. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Just oh, off the outside the edge. And that's ball one. One ball. Okay. Hayward stands at second with no outs. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Best ball for a strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. Volpe throws the first in time. And Freeman is retired. Now batting. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, I think really just trying to be careful. Man in scoring position there. See if he can somehow navigate through this lineup. Get a more favorable matchup. Perhaps get him to roll over and a changeup. Get a ball on the ground. Get a double play and get out of this. And he moves up to third. Now two away.
Here's the center fielder, Andy Pajes. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Foul ball there. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs. Torres. Off balance throw in time. And that is that. A double it. Back at Yankee Here Stadium. Go. Where we go, bottom Yankees. six. Juan Soto now. Oh. The wind and the pitch. That one's upstairs. Ball one. Ball one. Fall off foul. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. Next offering misses. Three and one now. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And that's Thank ball you, four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a bad strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. No outs. Runner at first. Here is Aaron Judge. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. And there's the strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That's through for a base hit. Soto round second, heads for third. Here's the throw, and the throw's offline, safe at third. Up next to the really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And here is Giancarlo Stanton, one for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Strike one. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch is outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And he deals. That one misses. But now three and one. Anthony Rizzo to bat next. The Yanks trailing by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouls one away and now three and two. Swing and a chopper. Fires to second for one. On the first double play. Great job on the mound, fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often, we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. So digging in, Anthony Rizzo. Hard ground ball base now. The run scores from third, it's 2-2. Comes through with the RBI. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Glaber Torres up to the plate. That one fouled off. Torres goes six foot one, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Here comes a pitch. Oh. Up and in, and it's one and one. one. Activity in the bullpen. Shohei Otani looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Phillips also getting ready. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball two. He 
In the air, right field. Hernandez settles underneath it. He's got it. And that is out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. It's Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ian seven. Hamilton. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. You know, these Dodgers, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. One thing that stands out looking over the numbers is the amount of outs they have on the first pitch of the at-bat. They've given away too many at-bats with easy one outs. That one not close. And the count is one and two. I'd really like to see him make an adjustment. Get more patient and start waiting for that right pitch. Not just the first pitch. I think that can make a big difference in this one. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a one-two again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. The pitch. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. One down, base is empty. On the ground to short. The throw to first, and two away to start the seventh. And next for Miguel LA, Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. Not even close there. And that is ball one. And downstairs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Stays alive. Two out spaces empty. Misses all Ray three. Ball. Strike. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. <laughs> That one 95 to finish him off. No runs, no hits, no errors. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands, and it's a bigger stadium, but... The game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher. Whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw. And just let him lead you in this one. Righty delivers. Out towards right center field. Pajes sizes this one up. And there's one away. Now batting. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. He's over for one. And a foul ball. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. That misses the zone. And yeah, the count, one and two. One and Foul ball left side, he'll see another.
Righty to the plate. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one, two. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall and make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. Struck him out. Three up three. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Barnes. He'll one. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's Mookie Betts. Check swing. He went too far and it's a strike. Base is empty one away and we're in the top of the eighth. 0 and 2 now as he swings through. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Fires to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Jason Hayward. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. He was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Score remains 2-2. Back in the Bronx. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Otani back to work. There's a strike. 0-1. Good eye right there. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Oh, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. I talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Lifted in the air out to left. One away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. 
He was all over that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Judge in the box now. Take no strike one. one strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Sends it across the first. Judge out on the play. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. One for three. Hard hit left side. Slings it across, oh. and we stay tight. All set to start the ninth in this one. And at the play for the dot, Clay Holmes will take over now, here. He's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough play. to get to. You see that ERA, Play. and that's where you love to be. Here comes the 0-1. That's the ball. One ball, one strike. That's the third. Tosses the first, and Freeman is retired. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. A little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. All tied up. You're at the top of the ninth. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And yeah, the batter now, Andy Pajes. And a foul ball. The pitch. That's a ball. And that one sliced foul. One and two now. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run now on back. base. And his hot three. hitting continues. Yo. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one hit is all they get. 5, 6, and 7 will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. We are tied 2-2. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. And the pitch. Oh. That one misses. One ball. One and oh. okay. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Daniel Hudson, the closer, is getting loose. Phillips, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. At the belt and fires. Little chopper rolls foul. Left hand batter waits. Oh. And another ball. Oh. And that's outside. I always feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Glaber Torres waiting to hit for the Yankees. High in the air, out to right. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the grab one away. Here comes Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. 
First pitch misses. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Out of here. And that ends the game. Wow. That's worth the price of admission. A walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth. Homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure packed scenario, and what do you do? You pump through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team.